This is the only orchestra of its kind in the world. Every member of it is crippled in some way or other and wears one or more artificial limbs. The players have been trained here at Walthamstow by Mr. Herbert Lyon. Minor miracles have been performed in recent years in the design and manufacture of artificial limbs. Every type of disability has gone into, and the problems of each individual cripple are considered and generally solved. For a child with no arms, they built an amazing device with three motors, getting power from cylinders of liquid carbon dioxide. Here, a natural muscle of the arm is used to trigger a micro switch producing the required movements in the artificial hand. There's a model showing how the individual finger movement is obtained. The 16-year-old Bob Wilcox, who lost an arm in a factory machine, is mastering the artificial one. Then there's a Malayan girl who lost both hands in a bus accident. She came to England to get artificial ones. Little Anthony, seven years old, was fitted with the outfit we saw in the workshop. Without such help, imagine what a miserable life the little chap would lead. The Medical Research Council is helping in this work to aid cripples. Now, Anthony can help himself to chocolate. <laughs> 